Hello, my name is Ginny Vos. I'm a trauma specialist and counselor with Johns Creek and Alpharetta Counseling. Today I'm going to share with you about a trauma treatment called EMDR and what a typical EMDR session would look like. Eye movement desensitization reprocessing or EMDR is a treatment that enables people to heal from the emotional distress that results from disturbing life experiences. EMDR is different from traditional talk therapy because it uses a technique called bilateral stimulation, where a therapist will guide a client through eye movements, tones, or taps to help a client pro properly process memories. Many people like this treatment because it moves much more quickly than traditional talk therapy. Let me explain a little bit about the science behind this technique. EMDR relieves the symptoms of trauma by changing the way traumatic memories are stored. Our experiences create memory networks that are stored in our minds and our bodies. These memory networks dictate how we experience the world in the present. They are the basis for our beliefs, attitudes, and perceptions. Intense or traumatic events tend to be stored in our memory without a sense of time. This incorrect storage can lead to a feeling as if the past traumatic event is about to happen again at any moment or is currently happening in the present. This can occur in the form of flashbacks, nightmares, and panic attacks. EMDR therapy helps to assess the memory networks in order to move them from a place of emo emotional activation to a more logical, rational place in the brain. EMDR changes the way the traumatic memories are stored so that you can know and feel that the traumatic event is in the past and that you are safe in the present. Through EMDR therapy, the triggers of the present no longer have the same charge. This will allow you to react to what is happening now instead of having an overreaction from a past traumatic memory. EMDR begins with several sessions before you actually begin the work of reprocessing the traumatic event. The first session would be like any other first session at Johns Creek and Alpharetta Counseling. We ask questions about what you are experiencing and how we can help. The next couple of sessions will involve preparation. In these sessions, we will make sure that you have the proper coping skills to put into place to help you to begin to reprocess the traumatic memories. We call this raising your window of tolerance. Once you are ready, reprocessing encompasses the bulk of the EMDR work. You will be asked some basic questions about the traumatic event. Then we use bilateral stimulation to reprocess the memory. Bilateral stimulation uses your right and left brain together to properly process the traumatic memory. We could have you follow a bar that lights up from left to right as you reprocess, or close your eyes and hold clickers that buzz gently in your right hand and then in your left. Your job is to watch the memory go by as if you were watching a movie. We do the bilateral stimulation for about 30 seconds. Then we ask you to stop and tell us what you noticed. You share the overall gist of what you thought about. Then we keep processing with another round of bilateral stimulation. At the end of each reprocessing session, we ask you to tell us what the most important thing was that you learned about yourself today. Then, if you are ready the next week, we pick up where we left off. With each session, we reevaluate the progress that you have made, monitor the effect the treatment is having, and what modifications or resources are needed. We may need to reprocess something else that has been uncovered in the process, or we may need to slow down and work on raising your window of tolerance again. The main thing to remember is that therapy of any kind always goes at your pace. As counselors, we do not have an agenda or a timeline for treatment, but we move along with you as you are ready. 
If you have any questions about EMDR, please leave them in the comments section below and I will be happy to answer you back. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our JCAC channel to get more answers to your mental health question. Thanks so much for watching and being part of our community. Until next time, I wish you good mental health.